Hermitage Hotel this morning, a local organization is aiming to capitalize on a new online trend. Now, over the 14, I think we need to really decide which one is going to be the winner, the Influence okay. Award. The Influencer Awards were started last year to celebrate prominent social media influencers who, it's hoped, in turn, will expose Monaco to a new, younger audience. I love her, but oh, not yes. for overall. Yeah. 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 Today, the judges are finalizing their selection. Oh, it's just amazing. Oh, yeah. the cloud with her. That's... The event is being led by a friend of Prince Albert's and a Monaco resident for many years. My name is Her Royal Highness, if you want my whole title, Her Royal Highness Princess Camilla of Bourbon of the Two Sicilies, two, two Sicilies, Duchess of Castro. It was actually Prince Albert, His Serene Highness Prince Albert, who introduced me to my husband. But if it's about influencer of the year, yeah. as in people who have the amount of followers, it's the young girl mm -hmm. who's 18 with 10.4 million followers, because yeah. she's bigger than all of them. Yeah. No, I will not vote for her. Yeah, I do agree with that. I, I'm a little skeptical here. Worth looking at. Yes. I want to be somehow a little bit of a bridge between traditions and the new world. I believe this project brings Monaco also in the new era of, uh, of social media, which we cannot do without. It's claimed that between them, the finalists have as many as 500 million followers. Um, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm looking fabulous. <laughs> They've all been invited to come to Monaco for tomorrow's award ceremony and a chance to experience the lifestyle for themselves. I love Monaco. The hospitality is amazing. I got on a helicopter ride, for God's sake. How was that? That was fantastic. <laughs> the fact that everyone's been flown out to Monte Carlo it has this grand, um, you know, enigma to it. Monte Carlo. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to Monte Carlo for the for the you know awards. Probably a lot of the reason the people the people actually came was because it was in a really cool location. In a place so renowned for privacy and discretion, the idea of posting photos of other people online can seem somewhat revolutionary. Okay, now, now it's okay. It's a different world, it's a different approach. You can use a mobile phone, take photos and just put them on, on all the Instagrams and nobody says no. There is no prohibition. It's exciting. <laughs> there may be signs that Monaco is being pulled into the 21st century. Hoping to start a new tradition, last-minute touches are being added to the Influencer of the Year ceremony. Let's go, let's go. Influencer Awards president, Princess Camilla, with her daughters, Carolina and Chiara, hopes the event will bring together the new generation of online celebrities with Monaco's more traditional guests. So you put me next to the ambassador of France? Yes. Indeed. And then uh, I have in and front of mine the Minister of Sports and Education. No, no, in front of you, you have the bat. That's and something. There is what, the Queen of Egypt? Oh, yes, the Queen of Egypt, Her Majesty. Yes. Her Majesty, the Queen of Egypt. often grows up saying you should not take pictures, you should be discreet. When you go into royal weddings, they ask you not to use your mobile. So we have a different approach to uh, everything that has to have with social media. Tonight we are now posting everywhere. The Prince of Bourbon and the Two Sicilies has agreed to support his wife in this venture, even if it's a little outside his comfort zone. What do you think of all this? Well, for me, it's totally a completely new world. I, I don't really get it, but, you know, you can't reverse, so... But, but your wife and daughters are embracing it. Yes, they are. They are definitely much more than me. Come on, girls. We are the Influencers Awards. Everyone, I love very 
much about you. You're such a beautiful lady oh. and so super smart and intelligent. Monaco, like everywhere else, has to move on. There is no choice. We just can't move back. It's hoped that the pictures appearing on social media across the world will make the principality more attractive to a younger audience. Monaco is cool for the jet set rich, but unfortunately those rich people tend to be very, very old. So the young affluent market of today's world don't actually think that Monaco is that hip. All the influencers that are here tonight and today for this weekend, they're all under 30 years old, and some of them have up to like 15 million followers. So when they tag Monaco and they see it's a young, exciting and fashionable place to go, people are intrigued to come here. Do you think it is those things? Um, I don't think it is, but could be, could be. And the race is to Monaco about 25, 26 years ago, I remember there was a lot of, how can I say, elderly people. It would be a disaster to stay a place where only elderly people can come and retire. We don't want that. We want Monaco to be the glamorous place, the diamond place. <laughs>